Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's Darian with Darian and Ty. In this video, I want to talk to y'all about three things that I feel like coding boot camps don't actually tell you. For those that don't know, I went to a coding boot camp in 2018, and it pretty much kicked off my entire tech career. So y'all can go back on the channel and check out any videos related to that. For anybody looking to, you know, go into boot camp in 2023 or going forward, just some things to keep in mind. The first one I had is you won't really learn DevOps that much in boot camp. For anybody who doesn't know what that is. Think about after you've coded your entire application, you have to get that application out to the world. That whole process is kind of called deploying and DevOps. That is arguably one of the most critical parts of this entire process. Not to say that the coding and understanding that isn't important, but you know, you could build the greatest app in the world, but with no deployment or DevOps skills, you will have no way of getting that app out to anyone to be able to use it. And so I I found quickly after boot camp that that was like one of my biggest sort of hangups um, and just like one of the spots that I was I struggled the most with after boot camp. But the next thing is that you know entry jobs are way more competitive now than I think the boot camps kind of lead students to believe. Like the getting the job part is probably one of the more difficult aspects. Um, of the, the whole boot camp process. And I feel like that that part is a little bit undersold, um, especially with, and we'll go into the next part here, which is my final point. But uh, the career assistance is, in my opinion, pretty like generic and limited at the coding boot camp. The counselor can only do as much for you as what they know, right? Like the information that they have about job searching and about the jobs in your area or the companies in your area, you know, the network they have access to is only as far as they can really go. I don't know how much that really has turned into tangible jobs for people, you know? So in terms of the career assistance, I just feel like it isn't always the most helpful service um, in these coding boot camps. And the reason that's important is because you're still paying for it. You know, part of your tuition is going towards people having access to career services and career counseling. So, you know, if you're just going to get like a resume look over or, you know, they're just going to help you do some mock interviews, those are things that might be helpful, but you can still kind of do that on your own. And so what I found is that a lot of people who find success after the boot camps really have their own kind of tenacity when it comes to like job hunting you know, they're motivated people, they're applying a lot, they know what sort of jobs they're kind of looking for, they know how to sort of sell their background and their experience to kind of fit. So that basically, you aren't just selling yourself as this boot camp grad that just learned how to code so you could get a new job. You know, you want to be able to tell a story from your past and really related to the boot camp experience and, and talk about how that ties into where you're going in the future. So that is something that I feel like is more incumbent on the person to kind of do their own research, to leverage your own network. And again, just be proactive, you know, when it comes to the, the job search. I don't find that the career counseling and the career advisors at the boot camps are really as helpful as maybe they're marketed to be to people. So just something to keep in mind if you're going in with hopes that you're going to get placed in a job and they're going to just, you know, pretty much make a phone call and get you a job. Um, or they can pretty much just get you hired uh, in any sense. You know, most boot camps uh, do a pretty good job of saying that they, they can't guarantee you anything, of course, but I just want to be transparent or want people to keep in mind that, you know, all with all the counseling, all the advising there, even those resources are available to you, you still are going to have to do a lot of work. Again, outside of just the technical work and the homework and, learning on your own and improving on the coding and technical side of things, you're gonna have to do a lot of work on the job search and research and resume revamping and, you know, the mock interview test or the mock interview prepping, all that stuff is gonna have to also be part of your focus in your free time as well uh, to really land that first job because entry level jobs are becoming more and more few and rare to find and they're also becoming a lot more competitive so just something to keep in mind for anybody looking to go into coding boot camp in 2023 or in the future you know so let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below staring with daring attack and i'll catch y'all next video peace